Hello again, Linda Hayes here. Today I want to talk about Placencia. I have a few videos on land developments and other things about it, but I've had a lot of questions on whether people should visit Placencia or Ambergris Key, and I thought I would put this video out to show some of the uh, pictures I took while I've been in Placencia many times over the last little while, and also some of the videos I took to give you an idea if it's a good fit for you. So you may know that I have tiny homes in San Pedro and I do still live there in a condo I'm renting because my tiny homes are long term rented out and we have recently bought a lot in Placencia and there's a few reasons for that. So the main thing is that we've been traveling there quite a bit because my boyfriend has land in Punta Gorda where he's going to be starting a citrus farm and we wanted to be closer to that. And in addition, I really like the paved roads. I'm going to talk about a lot of the advantages of Placencia and same thing as a tourist driving from Belize City to Placencia is fantastic. There's a lot of really nice scenery along the way and lots of nice stops. So I'm going to be showing a lot of the pictures I took and some of the videos as well. So I have a map here of Belize and you can see the mountain pine ridge there with the Mayan mountains and that's one of the big advantages of Placencia is that you have that mountain background which a lot of people like. So when you want to come to Placencia you first fly into the international airport in Belize City just like you do if you're going to Ambergris Key and from Placencia it is a 25 minute flight and you can either take Tropic Air or Maya Island Air. I have the prices there for April 16th because I was looking everything up for that day because actually that's my next trip back to Placencia because I have a friend coming in that wants to see it. And I've been going there quite a bit because lots of people from the island actually want to see Placencia. You can also rent a car, which is what I generally do because we love to have a vehicle and go all around the peninsula. And like I said, the drive is really nice. So we rent usually through Crystal Car Rental and I have a link for that there. And I put the daily rate for a compact car there as well in case that's something you're interested in doing. Now, April 16th is going to be one of the busiest times in Placencia. So I'm curious to see how that's going to go for us because it is Easter. And Easter in Placencia and Ambergris Key are um, one of the busiest times of the year. So uh, later on, I'll put a video on what that looks like. So when I was first deciding to buy in Belize, one of the books I bought is called Easy Belize. I got it on Amazon and I wanted to put some of the comments that he put in here because I went back and looked at it for Placencia because originally I was focused, of course, on San Pedro. So one of the comments he makes is that Placencia has the best beaches on the mainland. And you can see some of the pictures I've taken. Uh, it's definitely true that the beaches are beautiful. And in fact, I actually find them to be even nicer than Ambergris Key in most cases. They also have a modern water system and most of the peninsula is on the power grid. So that's a really nice uh, factor as well. So when I first went to Placencia last April, so about a year ago now, um, there was no filtered water in the room, which I was really surprised about. And then they told us that it was safe to drink the water. So from there, I started doing it. It tasted great, never had any problems with it at all. In San Pedro, I have some people that have drank the water too when it's in town and on the water system. I just don't like the taste of it there where Placencia, I have no issue with it. Another really nice thing is that the roads are fantastic. It's one of the best roads in Belize. Now they do have annoying speed bumps to watch out for, um, so keep that in mind. And then one comment I just saw that I found interesting is that they were talking about the Coco Plum project and it's it being a model for a well-planned development in Belize. And this is actually now called the Naya Resort and Residences. And I'm going to put a little video that I took at the Naya Resort. And this is um, something I just saw that was nice because I bought there and I saw this afterwards when I was preparing this presentation. So if you are traveling to Placencia, there are a few different places you could stay. So you could stay right in the main village, or you could stay in Maya Beach or anywhere else on the peninsula, which is 16 miles long. A lot of the shops and services are in the village, but there are some in Sign Bite and in Maya Beach as well. So you can stay anywhere as long as you have a car. But if you do want to do more walking, I would definitely recommend staying in Placencia Village. And I'll show a place that I've stayed there that is really nice. One other thing about Placencia that's interesting is there is a Norwegian cruise line cruise port at Harvest Key that's off Placencia. So you actually may see cruise passengers depending when you travel. So here I am. So here I am on the beautiful Placencia beach. So it's a really nice sandy beach. There's not much sargasm and the water today is beautiful and there's a beautiful breeze as well. And here I am at the Ocean Breezes Hotel where there's a bar that you can access as well as a swim up pool to the bar at the backside.
So I stayed at the Ocean Breeze Hotel when I was there about a year ago in Placencia. But every time I visit now, I do go over to the bar because you can access the pool and the bar. And it is actually a common hangout for people. And we actually did rum tasting when we were there last time. So that was a lot of fun. And it is all, it is right off the Placencia sidewalk. And that sidewalk is really good, like I said, to stay in if you don't have a car. And it is more than a mile long. There's a lot of gift shops, restaurants, access to bars and small resorts, along with houses. One of the places I stayed recently was called Mimi's house and it was on the sidewalk as well it's on Airbnb and it actually was a two-bedroom townhouse which was great when we had a group of people going and it was actually brand new so I think we were the first guests staying in it so that was really cool and you can kind of see the tipsy strip there with all the little signs of what's there so Smokey's barbecue bistro is actually one of the places we really like to eat I think we had dinner there one night and we also ate breakfast there and it's really really good and next I'm going to show a short video I did on the pier So here I'm in Placencia and I'm right at the end of the sidewalk looking out at the municipal pier that you can see here and then there's a whole bunch of little restaurants and stuff along the Placencia sidewalk. So this is the Placencia map here where you can see the sidewalk is the one in yellow here and you can see around the area here. And then the sidewalk which is kind of handy takes you all the way down to the end. So now let's talk about some activities in Placencia. So not unlike the island of Ambergris Key, you can still go to the reef. It's about 20 miles away, whereas on the island it's only about a mile away. But water activities here are very popular. Scuba diving, snorkeling, fishing, boating, all that kind of stuff is very, very popular. And there's a lot of little keys that you can go snorkeling around as well. Now there is also the Great Highway, as I said, so it's easy to go zip lining, cave tubing, any of the jungle activities that you want to do. And you can also drive or take a tour to the Coxcomb Basin Wildlife Sanctuary or the Bocawina National Park. So those are some of the attractions that people like to visit. And you can also do day trips to the Mayan ruins. So there's two different ones near Punta Gorda that you can visit, Nimli Punit and Lubatun. I'm probably not saying those right, but we did actually do some of these things in Punta Gorda. And I will do a video on that to show that later on. But it is very handy to be able to get to Punta Gorda in about two, within about two hours, you can get over to Punta Gorda, depending where you're staying on the peninsula. So if you'd like to have a night out on the town, there are options to do that in Placencia, not near as many as there are in San Pedro, but here's a few of the options. So Tipsy Tuna and Barefoot Beach Bar are actually right next to each other and are on the sidewalk in the village. There's another one called the Pickled Parrot that I haven't been to, but the other two I've been to a few times. And I can say that during spring break when I was in Placencia recently, the Barefoot Beach Bar was packed. We just walked by it to see because we could hear the music and uh, definitely was a very happening place. And then in addition to these places, of course, there are a ton of different bars and restaurants at all the different resorts on the peninsula. So now I thought I'd give some restaurant recommendations. There's probably a ton I haven't tried, but here's a few that we really like. So we had a recommendation to try Detach, which is on the sidewalk, and we went there and it's highly recommended. The time we went was actually packed because of spring break, but we really loved the food there. About a year ago when we were in town, we actually went to Mari that's at the Turtle Inn. And that's a really nice upscale restaurant, really, really good food. Highly recommend that if you're coming in for an anniversary trip or something like that, birthday party, though, that would be a nice place to go. Um, I already showed the Smokies Barbecue Bistro because it was on that sign on the sidewalk and we really like that. And then if you're going for dessert, Tutti Frutti is something I'd highly recommend. Whenever we're going to Placencia or even driving into Punta Gorda, we sometimes will make a stop over here just to get the uh, gelati that we really love. So I have a picture there of a banana split I had last time because it let me try three different flavors of ice cream. So definitely a very popular place to try out in Placencia if you want dessert. So now I thought I would just throw in something about expat communities if you're thinking of moving here as well as visiting. So I have met a ton of expats but also tourists while I've been doing visits to Placencia and one other thing is that there is a solo women in Belize group on Facebook it started in Placencia and we expanded to San Pedro so if you're coming as a solo woman um, don't be worried about it look us up on Facebook we have lots of events 
Another type of thing to look up are Rotary Club events. So for example, in Placencia, there is bingo every Thursday night. It's at the Green Parrot. Um, and we went uh, on one of our trips and all three of us at our table won. So you could see us there and it was a fantastic evening and great food there as well. And we also did see a pickleball tournament on one of my trips there. So pickleball is something that is quite popular in Belize. Um, there are games on the island of Ambergris Key as well, three times a week at Grand Bayman and in Placencia, we did see the tournament there. And karaoke is something you could also do at one of the bars. We saw signs for that if you like that. And then the last video I want to show is of the Naya Resort. Um, as I mentioned, I've stayed at Ocean Breeze on the sidewalk and I love it there. I've also stayed at the Mimi's Place Airbnb and one other place on the sidewalk. And it's a great thing to do if you really want to walk everywhere. But one of the challenges is finding parking. There isn't a lot of places to park and you may be uh, going a little bit far away from where you're staying and it's hard to maybe find your place at first. And if you do want to stay, though, on the peninsula, I'd highly recommend looking at the Naya Resort because it is really highly rated on TripAdvisor. So I'm going to show a video I took of that beach next. So right now I'm at the Naya Resort, and this is the beautiful beach at the Naya Resort here. And then this is where the swimming pool is, which is overlooking the beach and the restaurant here, and then a bar area as well. So I hope this video has helped if you're thinking of visiting Placencia. One other question I get asked a lot is whether it makes sense to travel first to the islands or to the mainland if you want to do a combination trip. So I wanted to talk a bit about that. If you're planning to rent a car and drive, say, to Placencia, you want to do that during the day because otherwise you're missing out on the scenery. And as I mentioned, there are a lot of speed bumps. So you don't want to really be doing that drive late at night. So if your flight's coming in a bit later, it might be best to go to the island rather than uh, going to the mainland first and doing that on the end of your trip. So it all just depends on your timing. And another thing to note though is if you are coming in late, it might be good to get a hotel in Belize City. So I really like to stay at the Radisson in Belize City. It's really nice. It's close to the water taxi. And in fact, we're coming in on Easter weekend on a Saturday. And I know Easter is crazy busy. Customs will take a long time. We're starting with a trip in Placencia renting a car. So what we're going to actually do is stay one night in Belize City first and then in the morning head to Placencia for a few days. And after that, go to the island on the water taxi. So I will do a video explaining how that works during Easter weekend because I think it'll be a little crazy and I hope to see you soon in Belize.